Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to another RGS tutorial and in this tutorial you will see that how can you create a heat map just like this so what is actually a heat map a heat map is used to visualize the density or intensity of any spatial data it can be a point data like in this case I have a point data of Ottawa and the traffic incident over there for 2018 and if I will go to its attribute table, then I have uh, the special information of every point and not only the special information of that point, I have also the number of collision at that particular point. So here uh, in 2018, this, this region of interest uh, have experienced three traffic incident. So now we will make a a heat map for understanding the pattern and the trend of this point data, this special data. So a heat map also help us to quickly identify the hot spot or areas with high concentration and making it easier for us to understand the pattern and the trend uh, of any special data. So now we will start the steps for creating a heat map. First of all, I will recommend you that you can change the projection of your uh, geography coordinate system to projected coordinate system and in this case I am using the UTM zone 18 and for creating heat map we will use a tool that is known as kernel density tool and in special analysis in density kernel density tool and input will be your point feature or it can be line feature and for population field so what is population field I will assign the population field to total collision so actually a population field allow us to specify a, a numerical numeric field in our point data set that represent the population or quantity of anything. This can be any attribute that you can want to use as a weightage uh, or density calculation. So from here you can assign an output and from here you can assign the cell size and I will go with 30 by 30 meter cell size because the resultant output will be a raster data set and uh, other things will remain default and in environment I will keep my processing extent in my area of interest and it is Ottawa and from over here I will also clip or mask my raster that will generate from kernel density uh, with my shape file Ottawa and hit OK so everything is fine then you can click OK just turn off other layers and this is our resultant layer and this is a raster data set go to its properties and uh, go to its properties and uh, in symbology and in source you can see that the cell size is 30 by 30 and in symbology you can make the classes to 5 or 4 and you can also classify it according to a natural break and hit ok you can also change the color ramp and I will go with this one and you can also flip the colors so higher values will be will represent red color and hit ok Okay, so now let's explore this raster that is generated from kernel density tool. And here you can see the point, uh, the raster values or class that is representing from blue curve is actually representing the number of fly in that are in between 0 or 10. So you can also again go to its property and uh, round this value. I will go 10 and then it will be. 40 and it will be 85 and it can be 165 so just hit ok and now if I will click uh, turn on my point data set and I will click any point over here so you can see that the total number of collision at this point are 2 so uh, this these area are in the class of 0 to 10 but over here if I will make a click on this so total number of play are 18 and 
total number of collision are 20 and if I will select all of them and go to its attribute table and uh, I will make a sum of this then you can see its sum is 39 so all these points are in between the class that is representing the number of collision uh, in between 10 to 40 so let's check the same for this class over here so green class is representing the number of collision that is in between 40 to 85 so I will also select all of them by holding the shift button just like this and again I will go to its attribute table and uh, here you can see all points have their own number of collision but if I will make the sum of all points then you can see the number total number of collision are 76 so all this region is in between the class that is representing the number of collisions in between 40 to 85 similarly for all these classes okay so now it's up to you that how will you make your classes and visualize your data set so now let's go to the file and then add a base map and all this data is related to traffic so I will uh, go with the street base map and hit OK or you can do you can also go to its properties and then go to its display and uh, you can make it 35 and hit OK if you want to clip your data set with any other shapefile you can place your shapefile over here and you can clip this raster that having the values in between that so now we will create a layout of this information further if you want to uh, if you want to neglect or remove uh, and don't want to show the data uh, that is in between 0 or 10 collision then you can go to its symbology and then its color and just hit no color and it will appear just like this So all the uh, incident that are in between 10 to uh, 317 are now on your screen. And we will go to layout view. And from over here you can see that there is uh, details about this base map. And if you want to remove this detail, you can go to insert and then dynamic text and then service layer credit. Now you have selected the service layer credit you can delete it or you can move it away from your layout I like to move it away from my layout so I will go with this one and uh, make a zoom in your layer just like this you can also zoom your layer just like this okay that's fine now you can add a add a legend into your layout my region will be kernel and I don't want the street map just delete this one and hit next 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 and next and finish so here I have the legends hit this value from over here just remove this one and uh, I don't want kernel d underscore shp I can go with this collision density or you can give any other name whatever you want and also I will go to its properties and I will select all and I can change the style font style and hit ok I will also go to its frame and I will set a background of gray 10% and hit ok I will also round these values just like this now it's quite good I will again go to its property and then I will go to general 
sorry i want to go to the property of legend and then general and item select all and uh, at all the well, this will be 14 okay now it's quite good you can also change the name of your title as per your and now i will insert a northern arrow i will go with this one you can also make a right click over here and uh, go to the frame and i will add again a background of 10 percent just like this now i will add a scale bar over here this one make km instead of kilometer okay now i will give a title to my we'll go with this one 2018 traffic accident density in ottawa and uh, hit okay you can also increase the size just like this from draw drawing tool i think 18 will be best and uh, I can also change the font style to Time Roman and again increase its size. I can like I only go with this one and hello increase the size just like this and hit OK. So now 18 2018 traffic accident density in Ottawa let's export this map but i forgot one thing okay so now i will add the grids in my layout just go to grid and next and next and next and finish and hit ok but these are too much so i will again go to its property first of all i will remove the lines from my uh, layout and then i will go to interval Go to again go to properties zero and five minutes again go to its properties and then i think six uh -huh. it's quite good just again go to its properties and then go to property and uh, from over here you can change the orientation of your left and right uh, grids to vertical and hit ok just like this and you can also increase the size of your grids they are too small so go to the labels and then 12 and hit ok Okay, so now it's quite good. Just adjust your title and your northing arrow. You can also change the color of your or color will be white, just like this. So let's export your map. Go to file and export map and give it a name like uh, heat map save this one this is the heat map that we have recently exported from our arc map so in this heat map the areas that having the number of collision in between 0 to 10 are representing with blue color and the areas that having the number of collision in between 165 to 317 are representing with the red color and uh, many thanks for watching this tutorial on using kernel density tool in RGIS to create heat map I hope you found this uh, guide helpful and uh, 
that it enhance your spatial analysis skill if you have any question or further need or you need further assistance you can comment below don't forget to like and subscribe my channel many thanks take care allah hafiz